Honestly, probably the people that come in. Um, making coffee is super fun because I love it and every day is a little bit challenging since we try to do latte art and all those different things with our coffee. But the people who come in here are amazing. They're friendly, they're fun. You get to know the community like I never got to do when I was just in school and have so many regulars that I know 60% of the people by name that come in here, which is, I love it. So we have one guy who comes in, his name is Lewis, and he gets, well he used to get while well, we had eggnog, a third eggnog, a third um, chai, and a third cider. And he just came in, and I don't know where this drink came from, but we immediately named it the Lewis. So it's now spread to not just Lewis's friends, but all these people come in and order the Lewis. He's very memorable, because every time he comes in, he's like that little firefly, everyone knows who he is. So we get a really nice flux of the community that comes in because of our location. So I think that that's probably really nice and has added, I'm, I'm assuming, some kind of change for them because they can come get coffee while they light a tree, <laughs> which is kind of fun. And then we have all the college kids that come in. It's a heck of a lot of fun. <laughs> it's really, really fun. A girl came in. She's working on a class for PR313 with Brett Atwood. And it was a class that I took last semester. So she wants to do a campaign for our business. And I was able to talk to her and work with her with it because it was something I'd previously done that she now wants to do now for Tom Hammer. Working, that's all I do, I work. <laughs> I go to the gym, I hang out with my boyfriend. I have gotten to know Pullman better, I think, since I'm no longer a student. I don't do the College Hill partying thing anymore. I do more of the, let's go hang out at, you know, downtown and walk around and meet new people. And, so that's a lot of fun to get to know Pullman differently. The most challenging is always multitasking. Uh, if you're a good multitasker, you'll be fine working here. But I normally have about eight different things in a list in my mind of, you know, I have the timer going for the espresso shots. I have the milk steaming, which has to stop at a certain temperature or I'll burn you and it'll taste bad. Um, I have normally the water dripping behind me for like Americano or maybe it's the drip coffee that's going. So definitely multitasking. <laughs> Typical day, I normally close. So the majority of the time I'm here from 2.30 to 10.30. And the afternoons are busy, people coming in before work, after work, we have our little lull. And then normally about seven on, it's all college students. And that's what always just cracks me up because we have like the community time and then we have all the college kids that come in. They had the cart outside in August, which started when, during the Lentil Festival. And then the store opened, I believe it was October 11th and been here ever since then. Almost all of us, except for a couple girls who are in school, work 30 hours plus. So we are the tightest knit group of people I've ever worked with in my entire life. We know each other really, really well. We get along really well, which is why I think we're able to have great relationships with ourselves and with our customers, because we just have a good time together.